The last thing you really need to worry about is this whole issue about the NVIDIA RTX 50 series, especially the RTX 5090, burning out. And I'll tell you the exact reason why. If you don't know who I am, I'm Chris Mizo, and I'm going to talk to you about everything that is currently going on with NVIDIA's RTX 50 series, and I'm going to go into a little bit with AMD as well. But first off, I know a lot of you are interested in hearing about when is everything going to be back in stock, especially the RTX 5090. A lot of you probably seen a few restocks on the RTX 5080, and maybe some of you were lucky enough to nab it, unless they already have the bots on full mode out there trying to grab every last one so they can pretty much corner the market. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the pricing shortly because it's also a more drastic issue than this whole burning out issue. And if you're wondering what is everybody talking about when it comes to the RTX 50 series burning out, it doesn't have to really do with the 12 volt high power port. It's actually multitudes of issues. On January 30th of 2025, there was a driver update that was out there to practically have the 50 series ready to go so you can game on it. Some people experienced some blank screens. Some people experienced other issues where the display port and the HDMI port wasn't responding to the driver. Or it could even be, in fact, the BIOS inside of the video card where it was not reacting. Some GPUs were just non-responsive, didn't work at all, didn't even power on anymore. And this has been documented through multiple board partners. Some are reporting heat issues with the 12 volt high power port where it is melting. So the RTX 50 series is really not looking that great right now. Some people also blamed the actual hardware for it. Now it isn't specifically just the RTX 5090, but it was also brought to attention about the RTX 4090 during testing from a small group. They were testing out these cards and then the port started melting. Now it's no surprise that it happened on the prior models, but then again, they've also tested trying to put the RTX 49 adapter with the RTX 5090. Now, you had to be pretty brave to do that because we all know that that had some pretty serious issues to use that adapter and it was much better to go full 12 volt high power port if you chose to go that route. Now, let me go into the pricing bit of it because I know all of you might be concerned and you have the right to be. And no, I'm not talking about these eBay listings. They are quite ridiculous, but I do have some like to share on that. It seems like some of the numbers have been coming back to where it seems people are not really as interested in purchasing it. They're not as high uh, as they once were, but it doesn't really make the situation any better because unfortunately you do have people that are just throwing money just to try to get the latest and greatest. And also when you do try to get the latest and greatest, you have to also understand you are going to be the first adapter and there's going to be quite a bit of NVIDIA woes that you will have to deal with because when you do first get a graphics card, it is far from perfect. And I've experienced it plenty of times. You will be a new adapter of hardware and that's why you got these problems. But enough of that, let's go into the pricing because what took in effect today will affect most people's wallets. Now, take a look at the pricing here when it comes to ASUS and MSI, and you might see quite the difference. In fact, ASUS is charging as much as $3,400 for a RTX 5090. MSI, they're also charging quite the price increase, some up to $2,700 to $2,800 for the new RTX 5090. Now, this generation, I gotta say, is really quite a disaster. It's actually getting even me, who wants to get the card to test it for you guys and personally buy it for you guys to really uh, get those numbers and not go through hearsay and actually test the number, bench test the numbers myself to see what is actually true, what how the raw power is, but it's kind of steering me away from it. And this is coming from somebody who does this for their YouTube channel, let alone for those who are gaming. 
This is quite ridiculous, especially paying over $3,000 USD for a graphics card should not exist, especially when you're just gaming on it. And I'm afraid of the biggest problem that it will cause is it will drive people away from purchasing graphics cards. Can you imagine some of the people who spent over 6,000 USD on a card just for it to brick up and you ain't you can't do anything about it, break up. And NVIDIA did send out a hotfix soon after. In fact, the hotfix was sent out, rectify a lot of these driver issues. Hopefully their hotfix is a little bit better, but there is little to report with it. There is also other issues with the RTX 50 series, such as using PCI Express risers. So for those who like to have their graphics cards vertically mounted there is a good amount of lost power but there is some slight good news on that end because Lian Lee did release today a brand new riser where it is more compatible with the RTX 50 series where you don't lose any power there's also another rumor the 12 volt high power port does is not really compatible with Lian Lee's 12 volt high power port which is pretty crazy they came out with the riser, but then the cable isn't as compatible. So for those who are really curious about a RTX 5090 restock, I just got the notification about a 5090 being out. And as soon as I clicked it, guess what? It was gone already. So for all those who are looking for one or have a very low chance right now and purchasing one, especially in the month of February, as mentioned, because of the New Year's, there is not going to be a large production of cards till probably about March. And then you'll see more of a decent collection within May. But are you willing to spend over $2,500 for a RTX 5090 is the real question. I originally thought the RTX 40 series was going to be a bit rough, especially the release of a $1,500 card. Now they're making that look like a wonderful card that Everyone should have bought a RTX 4090 because it was a much better leap. It's much cheaper than how much you can purchase a RTX 5090. That's how ridiculous this launch is. Now going into the AMD side, there is some good news that AMD, Lisa Su and AMD officially announced their Radeon RX 90 series cards will be released on March 6, but the pricing may be affected due to the current tariffs. Ironically, you might be paying just as much for a RTX 5070 for a RX 9070. That was an alert. And again, no chance. Take a look at that. No chance immediately. There you go. And I don't think it's gonna happen. Also for everybody out there, I want to try to hit a goal. I wanna to try to hit up to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. If I do, I will be doing a giveaway. It's going to be something that you'll want for sure. So fam bam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is interested in NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards, make sure you share this video with them. If not part of the big wonderful fam bam, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more because we love to talk about PC and tech. And also make sure you follow my X channel right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam bam guys, don't forget to follow that Discord channel for all the newest updates as it is brand new. So don't be surprised if it's pretty quiet in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.